there are some very cool add-ons for creating cloth and doing different types of simulation and effects like cloth tiering. And today we are going to take a look at six of those add-ons to help you work on your projects. Number six, Cloth Weaver. This is one of the best cloth making and simulation add-ons that can help you create detailed and custom pieces of clothing with a high degree of control. Cloth Weaver comes packed with a ground library of templates that can be used as a starting point such as pants, dresses, swimmer in addition to accessories like glasses and handbags and other stuff as well. This add-on, like other cloth simulation software, allows you to easily create your clothing outline, set up sections to be sewn together and it takes over the rest quickly. With Cloth Weaver, you can create the entire objects made from fabrics such as bags, purses, tents, towels, etc. And you can also experiment if you want to create other similar things that you need in your projects. Number 5. Molecular Script Molecular Script is a particles collision add-on that makes particles collide for creating certain types of simulations and effects, and particles linking as well. And one of the most important functions is creating cloth simulations including moving, bouncing, and especially tearing cloth simulations that look very natural and believable. So overall, it can use particle self-interaction, iteration with other particles, and all the types of linking that the script supports like linking at birth and linking after creation. There are a lot of applications for this add-on, especially if used with other visual effects systems and the results are gonna be beautiful. The molecular script is a fun add-on to use and experiment around with because there are so many settings that you can change to get different results. Also you can use the cube server add-on that allows you to rematch a particle system in real time. It works nicely with the molecular script add-on that was originally created by the same developer and using them together it is possible to create amazing effects and high quality simulations. Number 4. Cloth Effects this is probably one of the few add-ons that simplifies cloth tiering within Blender by providing you with a set of tools that allows for instant real-time cloth tiering simulations. Cloth Effects has a very fast simulation workflow because you don't need to pre-bake any animations since tiering is done in real time and it is baked afterward. And the cool thing is, you can create custom tier maps which allows you to control how the cloth is going to be torn in every direction. This is very important compared to the add-ons that simulate automatically because if you want to create visual effects like this for your project, you will need to have for control over your cloth effects simulations. Number 3. Simply Micro Mesh The add-on helps you to project ready-made micro objects onto your target objects quickly and easily. With it, it is easy to create concepts and experiment to work on your projects if you need to. This add-on includes more than 120 ready-to-made micro mesh presets and this is just the beginning. And of course you can change them or create and use your own micro meshes. This actually expands the horizon of what is possible using this add-on. Some of these settings that Simply Micro Mesh add-on gives you to help you control how your mesh will look like are, for example, changing the scale on two axes, also rotation, in addition to the ability to randomize both scaling and rotation of the objects in a pattern. The scaling and phase can be adjusted quickly and it helps you visualize density quickly. There is also the ability to determine the thickness of those preset objects in case you want them to pop out more or you want them to look flat. You can also change the subdivision level of these objects to be able to see higher quality mesh, especially when zooming in, looking at a very close distance. There is also a feature that allows you to subdivide and unsubdivide the whole mesh, which helps you increase or reduce the number of micro mesh preset objects on your mesh. Number 2. Modeling Cloth this add-on was created and developed to be a good alternative to the Blender Cloth Simulation System. It can somewhat succeed at doing this to a certain extent by helping you create any type of cloth you would using a professional cloth software. Modeling cloth is actually a cloth simulation engine that can help you click and drag, add wrinkles, shrink cloth around objects, mix soft body and cloth effects together and so much more. Overall, the developer is trying to make this add-on work in Blender using similar features and workflows that can be found in similar software, but if you want to get the higher value for your money, I highly recommend the next add-on. Number 1. Simply Cloth With this add-on, you can create cloth faster and easier than before because it offers tools and features that can help you generate results similar to what you can do using specialized cloth software such as Marvelous Designer. 
and the good thing is you don't need a lot of previous knowledge with cloth physics settings inside Blender because everything is simplified and made very clear using simple settings in the add-on interface. And for those who don't have experience making cloth, you can simply select an asset and one of the available presets and quickly adjust them according to your needs. The presets include different cloth making materials like cotton, denim, leather, rubber, silk, elastic cloth, cloth with pressure, pressure paper, and so on. There is also a library of ready to use cloth like female underwear, bras, female shorts, male shorts, skirts, swimwear, different types of shirts, different kinds of dresses, different types of shorts, in addition to accessories like a mask, cap, belt, and so on. Also sometimes, some clothes or furniture need pressure like some jackets, sofas, or pillows. And this is where Simply Cloth comes to make things easier because it will give you a higher degree of freedom and control over how you want the final result to look like. Another thing about this add-on is that it allows you to sculpt cloth using different brushes that can do different things such as drag, push, inflate, pinch, expand, grab, mask, and so on. So you can use these brushes to move part of the cloth to a certain position or pinch it to look more realistic and believable because even though the initial simulation is good, you will need these type of brushes in order to be able to get the custom result that you want and make it look more natural based on the experience in the real world as a human being. So once something doesn't look right, you can still have control manually using these brushes. If you are interested in one of these add-ons, you can find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you have something to add, you can leave it in the comment section below. Also, you can check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one.